have the yeah. first question from Damian Calhoun. Damian, go ahead. Hey, Sasha. Um, just want to get your thoughts on what's the um, uh, after a game like this, uh, nine game. Uh, on, you guys are on a, a nine game um, winless streak. Is it more of a an, uh, an exhale that you got this now? You, now you can move forward uh, for the rest of the week here. Yeah, I mean it's it's really nice to have some music blasting in the locker room again after a, a game, you know. So that's just a good feeling. I think everyone's a bit relieved, especially with the way the game went tonight. Just. I thought we played exceptionally well. I thought we were in total control. We had a lot of possession. We created some great chances. And it felt like one of those games in the first half where it was going to, you know, they were going to get one chance and they were going to score after we had so many. And then they score a fluky goal to make it 1-1. And you just think like, oh, no, not again. And so, you know, just to, to get that win in the end, I think it is a big exhale for everybody. And now hopefully it's the start of a winning streak or an unbeaten run. And when you line up to take the PK against Clark there, um, any tendencies that you noticed from him at all? Or No, I don't pay attention to the goalies. I, 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 decide, I decide the morning of the game where I'm going to shoot if I get a penalty. So this morning, <laughs> this morning I, I, I had a feeling we were going to get a penalty tonight. I just didn't know if I'd be on the field to take it or not. But I knew, I knew when, the ball, when I put the ball down that I was going to shoot that way and I was going to hit it hard and hopefully he wouldn't get there. All right. Thanks a lot, Sasha. Thank you. So with Josh Gassman next. Hey, Sasha. We talked midweek a little bit about this team needing a spark, needing something to go their way. Uh, Ephraim came into that box and, and created and manufactured a foul. Um, is this the spark this team needed? I think so. You know, it's I'm, I'm proud of Ephra because we stood on the sideline together getting subbed in and we shook hands and said, let's go make the difference in this game. So, you know, for him to to come up and make a play. Not only that, he was dangerous every time he had the ball up on, on top of the box. He's so shifty and crafty and knows how to use his body really well. He's he's very savvy player for how young he is. And so he made a really good play. I know you talked again midweek about how you're not always on the field when you want to be. Um, you got to be on the field. You got to make a difference. Greg talked about you before uh, before you talked to us about how you brought some intensity into this game. What does it mean to you to, to figure into this win right now? I mean, yeah, it's nice to be the guy who gets the goal, you know, uh, being a midfielder all my career, I've never, never was a high scoring midfielder either. So it just feels good to get the goal. You know, I, I keep coming back to the academy team that I coached this morning. So um, I coached these boys and in my pregame talk, I just talked to them about being able to make a difference. But I also talked to them about scoring goals in soccer is the most fun thing you can do, right? It's it's the thing that, that soccer is about. And and I told the boys this morning, when you score a goal, go and celebrate and celebrate together and like really enjoy the entire moment. And so uh, I felt like I went a little crazy after I scored tonight. I wanted to jump up in the crowd, but I quickly remembered that I had a yellow card already and I didn't want to get sent off for some bullshit. So I jumped down really quickly and then I wanted to run across the other side of the field where my family was sitting and, and, and wave at my kids. So it was a, it's just a really good feeling. Thanks, Sasha. Thanks, Sasha. Go ahead. Hey, Sasha, before I ask my question, did your academy team win? I, I need to know that. Uh, it was my coaching debut today. I mean, I, I'm just helping out with the group, but, I, you know, it's for this my B license course that I'm taking that I had to give a, a pregame and halftime talk today to them. And, uh, you know, Juninho coaches the team, and I've been very thankful for him to allow me to be part of their group. And we ended up tied 2-2 this morning. So I'm I'm unbeaten as a manager so far. <laughs> well, congratulations on that. I wanted to ask you, you talked to, with such confidence that like one play could turn this thing around. And, and a lot of times that's not a 500-foot home run. It's a bunt that turns these things around. And, and so you guys won on a penalty kick. Uh, before you give me the, uh, with your predictions, before you give me the lottery numbers for this week, um, this is what you were talking about, right? This this one one play could turn this thing around. Yeah, I mean, it didn't matter if it was an own goal or if it was a, a ball into the upper corner from 30 yards. You know, it's just the ball got in the back of the net and, and we were able to, to celebrate with our fans and get three points again, keep the teams behind us, you know, still behind us and, and keep up with the other teams around us who also all won tonight. So, you know, important in many more ways than one. And hopefully uh, it builds... <clears throat> it builds some uh, 
you know, some momentum for us moving forward. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Kevin. We'll go with Larry Morgan. Larry, go ahead. Hi, Sasha, congratulations on the win and the, and the goal. Can you remember the last time you were that emotional after scoring the goal? I mean, you were really animated jumping in the, the crowd and just said post game in your interview. I mean, can you remember the last time you were that animated after scoring a goal? Uh, you know, it's hard to remember a time after scoring a goal being that that animated and emotional. You know, I'm an emotional guy, though. I, I'm, I don't shy away from that. Uh, now that I've had some time to reflect, you know, it's just uh, it was a big moment for our team. We, we got our backs against the wall. We've talked about needing a win in, in any way possible. And so to get those three points, you know, it just means a lot to me. And I know it means a lot to the entire group. Thanks for your time. Thank you. We have one last one from Sophie Nicolo. Sophie, go ahead. Thanks, Vicky. Um, great penalty. You buried that. Takes balls to do that at this point in the season and at that point in the match. Um, so well done to you. Wanted to ask you this. This team has come together and there's a lot of new players, Sasha, and it feels to me like the team might not be built yet for an entire season, yeah. but it is built perhaps for these one-off pressure games, which going into playoffs will suit you well. Would you agree or disagree with that? I don't know if I'd agree or disagree with that, but I would just say that, you know, when you bring a new coach in and a new coaching staff and so many new players that you have to think long-term. And so I've always thought long-term about this group of players that, that if it doesn't happen this year, we still have to have an eye on year two and year three and year four, you know, just of building. You know, we've got some very good, talented players that are experienced, and we also have some very talented youngsters who we have to build around for the next years to come. So uh, I hope that in these one-off games, uh, our experience comes through and our savviness and, and just how many good players we have on the field, and we make a run towards the cup this year. Thank you. Thank you. Ashan, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, everybody.